Secretary, welcome to Israel. I don't know if you know which date line you are and which hour of the day you are. I see you're hoping you'd be telling me. I know you're traveling all over the world. I saw your uh, uh, interview at the World Economic Forum in Riyadh, and I want to thank you for the strong support and the uh, moral clarity in what you've said regarding the initiation of this terrible situation, the war that was waged upon us the atrocities as well as, of course, the plight of the hostages. We yearn for the immediate return of the hostages. It is um, and should be the top priority of the international community. I think there should be a unanimous decision of the international community that the uh, freeing the hostages in, uh, is an utmost priority. Um, and I would like to add in that respect as well and in other respects, that whilst we are waging war to defend our citizens and to bring about a different future in the Middle East, our enemies and other elements are trying to um, kind of undermine the entire process by using international legal forums that were established in order to have a world order that pursues peace and, and pursues the values and norms that we all believe in in the modern world, especially, I mean, the efforts done through the International Criminal Court, trying to use the International Criminal Court against Israel, which is fighting terror, is a clear and present danger to uh, democracies and to free and peace-loving nations who pursue uh, the norms of international law. And I call upon all our allies and friends to object and reject any such efforts. Thank you very much, and welcome. We're determined. Uh, to get a ceasefire that brings the hostages home uh, and to get it now. Uh, and the only reason that that wouldn't be achieved is because of Hamas. Uh, there is a proposal on the table, and as we've said, uh, no delays, no, excu no excuses. Uh, the time is now, uh, and the time is now long past due to bring the hostages home to their families. Uh, at the same time, even as we're working, with uh, relentless determination to get the ceasefire that brings the hostages home. Uh, we also have to be focused on uh, people in Gaza who are suffering in this crossfire of Hamas's making. And so, focused on getting them the assistance they need, the food, the medicine, the water, uh, the shelter, is also very much on our minds and in the work that we're doing. Uh, I look forward to discussing all of that with you and many more things as well. Thanks for seeing me again this morning. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Thank you Thanks.